Hello everybody and welcome to Astros Lily. Today we're going to be doing a review of uh, the C8 telescope, or I guess you could also say, say the uh, 8SE telescope. This is the scope that I currently have up here on my EQ6R mount. If you want to see a review of that, uh, hit subscribe because that will be coming out in the next couple days. But this is my personal telescope. Here. This has been one of my favorite telescopes that I have ever used. Um, it has been, it just works. It's uh, always reliable. I have never had to collimate it once in the year that I've had it, and it's almost perfect collimation. Um, and of course, with it being a Celestron telescope, SCT telescope, there are a lot of attachments that you can get. For example, here, there's these clutches. I don't know how, how good you can see that, but I do have a 0.63 uh, focal reducer on this, which brings the focal length from native f10 to f6.3, or uh, 1,280 millimeters of focal length. And of course, if you want to, you can also spend $1,000 to take out the secondary mirror and put a Hyperstar attachment on it. I have worked with instruments uh, that are over 30 inches. Uh, yes, that is right. I have worked with a 30-inch Dobsonian firsthand. And I will just say it right now, the C8 or 8SE has come incredibly close to topping that and that sounds ridiculous and you might be thinking well what do you know um, well I actually do volunteer down at the Sun River Observatory with a 30 inch massive Newtonian uh, Dobsonian reflector and it has come incredibly close to beating it now, of course, that is with things uh, like the Orion Nebula. Even from my light polluted backyard, I can still see all the colors uh, very vibrant in the Orion Nebula. You can clearly see the Andromeda Galaxy even minutes after sunset. Um, and it has just held up really good against some larger telescopes. Now, something that you're probably wanting to know a little bit more about is I'm going to be assuming that you are buying the 8SE uh, package, which is the C8 OTA, or Optical Tube Assembly, along with uh, the Altaz mount that looks a lot like this. And I'll put the listing up on Amazon, where a lot of people will likely buy it right up on the screen. Now, I have said that the OTA, the actual telescope itself, is incredibly good. And it is. But the mount, the mount is something that you are probably going to hate uh, if you are wanting to do serious astrophotography or more serious astronomy. If you are just a beginner and you are not looking into spending thousands of dollars on a different mount like uh, the EQ6R I have right here, then you don't need to worry about it. Um, it will get the job done. If you are looking into astrophotography, I will just say this right now, you will not be able to do anything other than the moon and planets using the mount. However, if you just take the telescope off of the mount and put it on something more serious, you can do deep sky, you can do the planets, you can do the moon, you can do just about anything you want with it. Albeit for deep sky, you are also going to want this little uh, 0.63 reducer and corrector because without it, the corners of uh, your frames will look something like this. As you can probably tell, I have a lot of things against the plastic mount that this telescope came with. Mine actually didn't work uh, just over a year after I got it. It did in fact break down and it does not work anymore. Uh, it started having troubles weeks, maybe months, maybe months, maybe a month, maybe two. After we got it, um, it would have trouble finding targets that were in deep sky. However, it would work with the planets. Then it went to not working um, with anything here and there. 
uh, just occasionally working, and now it does not work at all. You cannot get it to do anything. Now let me say this, I am no mean, I am by no means trying to discourage you from buying this telescope. I am just stating my grievances with the mount that it came with, because the mount was not good. Uh, I think that an 8 inch Schmidt Cassegrain was far too big to be put on such a weak mount. Uh, in fact, if you go through a couple forums, you will actually learn that the gears inside of the mount are made of plastic. That is right, the gears are made of plastic, not even metal. I have heard from other people that their uh, 8SE mounts have worked for a much longer time than mine has. So maybe mine is just the uh, special example here. I'm going to try not to point the telescope at the sun. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just maybe got a bad copy of it. But it stopped working after my warranty had expired. So there was just no way to really fix it. Now I'm just going to talk about a little bit nerdier things that beginners won't care much for. But uh, somebody who is really interested in optics and pushing their telescopes to the limits, you might really appreciate this segment here. This telescope, uh, I have gotten some pretty great uh, pictures of the planets, gotten this of Jupiter, and this of Saturn. All in all, to finish this uh, short review that I had completely unscripted, uh, it is an incredible telescope. This telescope is incredible for beginners and more advanced astrophotographers alike, or even just uh, visual astronomers too. I have seen some truly incredible stuff through here, some stuff that I thought I wouldn't ever be able to see. Uh, I just recently I could see the tail on the comet 12P Pons Brooks, even when it was at a visual magnitude of around 7. Of course, I have seen things a lot fainter than magnitude 7, some close uh, to magnitude 14, maybe up to 16. So you can see a lot with this. This will probably keep you entertained for a while. Uh, I myself, an astrophotographer, are stuck inside of the loop that most astrophotographers find themselves in, which is the constant, as Ed Ting would say, merry-go-round, where everybody wants to just keep upgrading their equipment. I do have grievances with the mount, but that is really the only negative part of this entire package. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, it was very rushed, I just kind of impulsively came out here and started recording. Uh, if you would like to see more of these reviews, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell. If you would like to see my upcoming video reviewing the EQ6R with uh, the C8 uh, OTA here. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys later.